All right, guys, good morning. It is 5.30 in the morning. We have a long drive ahead of us, so let's hop in the car and we are heading that way. Alright guys, so we just got out of Einstein's, we picked up some food. If you've never had a Nova Lux, go get it, it's awesome. Um, so we're going to take them with us. We do have a couple cars here, so we are going to hop in our rides and head towards the meat spot. How you think about today, babe? I think it's lovely. So, got a couple cars here. Uh, we're waiting for a couple more to show up, but we're heading out. Uh
right guys, so we are here waiting. We are gonna hang out here until more cars are showing up, as you can tell. So uh, we're gonna be here for another 45 minutes. And then after that, we'll be leaving right around nine o'clock. So we will see you then. <laughs> All right guys, so today's trip is to the Western Antique Airplane and Automobile Museum. Uh, we are heading there now. So we are doing our meeting real quick and we're gonna bounce out.
no museum cannot be complete without an old Ford tri motor. Cool thing is, is that this vehicle was all mechanical. All of the controls were manual operated through cables, linkages. So, absolutely love it. One of my personal favorites. Another one of my personal favorite aircrafts here, we have this Boeing uh, 40C. Uh, the cool thing is that the passenger cabins are inside and the pilot flies outside. So we'll actually go in here and I can show you these cabins. You had a seat there, you had a seat there, and then you had another two seats in front of you. You had a phone to radio your pilot. People up front also had a phone to radio their pilot. This is what flying as a passenger in 1928 looked like. So cool, so cool, awesome. <laughs>
All right, guys, we are inside the WAM Museum or W A A M, the Western Antique Airplane and Automobile Museum. This place is crazy, it is jam packed. This is one of three large rooms that just showcase everything inside the building. Uh, if you ever make it out to Hood River, uh, which is in the Columbia Gorge in Oregon, please come stop check it out get admission come donate because without people to come and check out this stuff it costs a lot of money to maintain and keep all of these looking as good as they are they have a lot of vintage and antique pipers they have a lot of vintage and antique curtises the automobiles are awesome they have this uh war memorial which is behind me a lot of stuff from uh world war ii if you ever make it down here, this place is really cool, really cool. Um, but we're gonna check out more of this stuff and I will get back to the video. Caught behind the Venetian blinds How to reach for the city lines This ain't where I belong Give me more of what I've become I've been running east Looking for something Digging deep Since 99 What I thought was gone Was sitting in my pocket In plain sight All along It's time for me to go Burn all bridges All I know I got lost along the way Fell between the foam Pulling stitches Time to let go So come what may Another one of my personal favorites here at the museum is this Packard Absolutely love it. The color, amazing. It's got the straight eight. Really cool. Don't look before you leave. What you give, you get to keep. So long, farewell, bye bye. Let's have a toast for those lost old eyes. And my crooked little heart. No rebellions is falling apart right now. I'm bleeding, an easy kill. Gonna leave it all behind. I think it's time for me to go burn all 
All right, guys, this is one of my personal favorites. It is a Ford Snowcat. So as you can tell, it's got the uh, tag axle and the tracks, and then it has the front skis. Too cool. All right guys, just got done with the WAM Museum or the Western Antique Airplane and Automotive Museum. It was amazing, cars are starting to leave now, so we are hopping in. We have a three hour drive home, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, but first we gotta get some food, because we are hungry and it was a long day. So thank you guys for watching. It was an amazing trip and we will see you guys next month because next month is the Tillamook Cruise. So we will see you there. Peace. Now, I just wanted to let you know it was 90 degrees in Hood River. As we got closer to the coast, it just kept getting worse and worse. So I knew I was getting closer to home. But with that being said, I like to take a minute and talk about the details. Cars just are not made like they used to be. The craftsmanship, the detail. I mean, when you look at how detailed and ornate older cars are, and then you look at newer cars, 
like even the headlamps, the amount of passion it takes to make those, the amount of time, the craftsmanship was just another level. Today's cars, they're just all plastic. I mean, even the headlight indicators, the little red dots that allow the driver to see if the headlights are still on. I mean, all the way down to the horns, the old lamps, the chrome. I mean, even rolling the headlights into the fenders. You really have to admire just raw attention to detail, the emblem, the oval lights, the sealed beam headlights. All of these were first. All of these were pioneering the age of the automobile, the lenses of the headlights. All changed year after year. And I just gotta say, I love it. I'm an attention to detail kind of person. And I mean, look at these grills. They just scream, here I am. I'm luxurious. I mean, beautiful. All of these are beautiful. I had a great day. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how I'm doing. It's always fun getting out and showing you guys more of Oregon. Thanks for watching.